Uh, hello all. Uh, in this video, we will be demonstrating an experiment on electromechanical overcurrent delay. Here we will be finding out the relation between current versus time. That means uh, IDMT characteristics you are going to verify. Uh, here, this is your relay settings. You can see overcurrent relay settings. Okay. So, the first segment you can call this is uh, TSO. Okay. You can vary the value also. So, you can change and you can uh, get your desired value. Okay. TSO. This is actually your TSO. Now, the segment which you can observe is actually a PS. This is your uh, PS. Okay. You can uh, take the stud and connect whichever you want the value. Okay. You can vary. Continuously you can vary by uh, taking the particular thing and you can change it to the particular uh, area wherever you want. So, above thing you can see the plug setting multiplier that is known as PSM. You can choose uh, the value which you which you wanted to make out as your wish. Okay. Now, we can say that this is your uh, tripping time. You can measure the tripping time by using the timer. There is a display. Similarly, uh, we have one, um, uh, we can measure the current by using this particular ammeter. So, we are having one inbuilt meter inside the kit. Now, uh, here we are having uh, the CT. Okay. The CT that is for the current measurement. Okay. Uh, we can able to measure the high current and it will be converting into measurable value of current. So, this is actually the CT you can call current transformer. That is for the measurement purpose. It is also known as either sensor or transducer. Yes. Now, let us uh, do the connection. Actually, the CT, let us first of all, let us make out the CT connection from here to here and next point has to be connected to So, this segment has been completed. Now, I would like to complete the tripping circuit. You can see the tripping circuit. Here you can observe. So, from this, this is actually normally open contact. So, likewise, you have to connect. This point has to be connected to here. So, tripping circuit has been completed. You can observe here. This is a connection. Now, let us do the relay setting first. First and foremost thing, you need to set the TSM that is equal to 0.6. You can slowly vary uh, the particular knob. You can main, uh, maintain uh, the TSM that is equal to 0.6. Okay. So, I maintained uh, the TSM equal to 0.6. Now, it is becoming 0.6. Yes. Now, I would like to do the plug setting. So, as your wish, you can maintain the plug setting. So, let me maintain the plug setting is equal to uh, 0.75. So, here you can maintain this 0.75. I made it out into 0.75. Yes. Now, you need to calculate the PSM. PSM is nothing but plug setting multiplier. You can use the formula, the fault current divided by PS. You can select the fault current as your wish, like 2, 3, 4, likewise you can select 2, 3, 4 ampere, likewise you can select it. So, IF divided by PS, that is equal to 2 divided by uh, 0.75. The first fault current is equal to 2, then divided by PS means 0 0.75 we already said. That is equal to uh, 2.66. Uh, okay, that is a value of PSM. Yes. Now, let us start the start doing the experiment. First and foremost thing, you need to turn on the main supply. So, main switch is turned on. Now, make sure that dimmer is at minimum position. Yes, it is at minimum position. Thereafter, what you can do is, toggle switch should be at set mode. So, toggle switch, this is actually toggle switch. It has to be made at set mode. Now, you can press the start button. This is your start button. Okay. So, afterwards, you have to vary the dimmer step. You need to slowly vary the dimmer step and maintain the fault current. Here, what is the fault current? That is equal to 0.266. Why it is 0.266? I will tell you. This is you have to set 0.2. Yes. I will tell you the reason why it is 0.266. We have got the fault current that is equal to 2.66 ampere. But the capacity of the meter that is only maximum 1 ampere. You cannot maintain more than 1 ampere. So that, let us come back to the particular uh, current setting. Uh, here you can observe the current range selector. So, if you set uh, 1, if you set 1, it becomes 1 ampere. Then you can, if you set 2, it will become 2 ampere. Likewise, th these are the settings. Now, make sure that it should be less than 1 ampere. So, our reading is actually calculated value is uh, 2.66. So, how to make out the less than 1? So, better, in my opinion, you can maintain, uh, maintain uh, at, uh, you can set at 4th position. If I set 4th position, that is equal to 10 ampere. So, 2.66 divided by 10, that is nothing but uh, 0 0.266. So, now I need to set the, actually, uh, the uh, reduced value of current is equal to, fault current is equal to 0 0.266. That I have to set in the kit. Yes. Now, we have set the fault current is equal to 0 0.26. Later, what you can do is, 
press reset button which is the reset button this is your reset button you have to click on the reset button thereafter toggle switch should be at test mode okay now let us come back to the rotary switch there will be one rotary switch initially while setting rotary switch should be at one position now whenever you are applying the rotary switch should be at second position that you have to confirm switch into second position so rotary position is at second position right now yes now you can operate so here you have to measure the tripping time here also you can observe so tripping time has to be noted down now by using the dimmer stat i made the fault current that is equal to 0.266 okay thereafter let us operate so now what you can do is so you have to press the reset button you can reset option is available so you have to click on the reset option so thereafter the toggle switch should be at the test mode so this is your toggle switch make sure that it is at the test mode okay now let us come back here now rotary switch this is your rotary switch earlier it was operating with position 1 now you need to make sure that it is at position 2 so i have turned this particular knob into position number 2 so now it is at open position thereafter you can uh, press the start button green colored button is available so here you have to click on this yeah now immediately you have to measure the tripping time here you can also observe so what is the tripping time tripping time is equal to 4.114 second at that time relay has been tripped uh, now we have to go for another reading for that purpose initially what you are supposed to do is it should be cleared actually so what you can do is you have to uh, press the now i need to take another set of reading so first and foremost thing let us move this dimmer stat to zero position okay thereafter you need to click on the reset button so afterwards you can see the rotary position it should be at uh, position number 1 okay that means short position then come back here the toggle switch should be at uh, set mode then now let us go for another reading so tsm will be choosing 0.6 now this is actually your ps that is equal to 0.75 okay now let me assume that the fault current if that is equal to 3 okay from that the psm has to be calculated you know that the psm is the ratio of fault current divided by flux setting that means fault current is equal to 3 and flux setting is equal to 0.75 so 3 divided by 0.75 is nothing but 4 now i need to set 4 but here the range is maximum range is 1 ampere i cannot set more than 1 uh, ampere so what you can do is by using the current range selector you can see 1 means 1 ampere Uh, 2 means uh, 2 ampere 3 three, uh, 3 indicates 5 ampere 4 indicates 10 ampere so you can uh, reduce the value ja okay for that purpose so the fault current is calculated fault current is 4 ampere so in order to reduce the 4 ampere so what you can do is this has to be made out into 4 if it is made out into 4 that means uh, the 4 divided by 10 4 divided by 10 is nothing but 0.4 in that particular uh, uh, in that particular meter i have to set 0.4 ampere Okay, that means four divided by ten is nothing but point four. So point four ampere has to be set over here. Here you need to set point four ampere. So with the help of dimmer stat, I can able to make uh, the fault current is equal to point four. That is equivalent to four uh, ampere. Okay, so we are by with the help of current range selector, we are making out into point uh, four ampere. That's it. Now let's operate. Now let's operate. So first and foremost thing what you can do is you have to click on the green button that means start button. Okay. Now by using the dimmer stat you need to main you need to maintain the fault current is equal to point four. Let us make the fault current is equal to point four. See now it is point one, point two, point three. So I need to make it is point four. Yes. Now the fault current is exactly. Look at here. The fault current is exactly made out 0.4, 0.4 ampere. Now let us operate. What you can do is press restart button. Sorry. Plus press reset button. Now toggle switch should be at test mode. Make sure that the toggle switch should be at test mode. Now 
come back to the rotary position rotary position should be at open position so that purpose i can make out into two the two means open you can as you can see two means open so make sure that while operating it should be at a second position clear so thereafter press the start button so i'll be clicking on the start button and you need to note down the relay tripping operation type relay has been tripped at t is equal to 2.851 second we have made the we have calculated the value of tripping time 